Hi, and welcome to our next section, classify the tricks. Yes, it's now time to apply classification algorithms on our tricks. In this section, we will learn how to use supervised classification algorithms to score positive and negative sentiment tweets. Therefore, we will build the training and validation datasets and run one of the available Spark algorithm, a logistic regression. We will measure performance of the model we produce and highlight the limitation of this method to introduce means to select a better model. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the training and test dataset. This is a classical process when you deal with supervised learning algorithms and I hope you are familiar with it. In this video we are going to take a look at the available Spark algorithm to achieve classification. Our goal is to identify tweet sentiment, but this time with a classification trained model rather than with the previous techniques based on the term weight, also known as a bag of words. The very first step is to prepare a, our training and test dataset based on a human labeled information. Remember, classification is part of the supervised learning algorithms, so we first need to train with a labeled dataset. We will then introduce user model selection techniques. Classification refers to putting things into distinct classes, or simply said, assigning classes based on the, on the features that represent variables related to an item or an event. The simplest form is a binary classification when we have two classes. A first class is labeled as positive class, usually with the value 1, and the other class is labeled as a negative class with the label 0 or minus 1. To follow up on the previous videos where we have analyzed the tweet sentiment, we will build here a model to score the sentiment based on a trained model. Spark ships with a well-known classification linear, naive base and random forest models. In this course, we will use the linear models, which are the easiest to scale to very large datasets. Logistic regression will give you prediction bounded between 0 and 1, which is the score of the data point being in the positive class. The score is not a probability. To know the probability, you ought to use the classification results by varying thresholds, then see what the precision is for each bucket. This then induces a mapping from the model score to a probability estimate that is not only accurate but will tend to the exact probability as the number of test examples tends to infinity. It is one of the most widely used linear classification models and is simple to interpret. Random Forest is a non-linear algorithm which delivers very good performance in many cases. Naive base model is more simple and easy to train. It will give you also reasonable performance and can be used as benchmark for other models. Although supported by Spark, we will not review in this course the multi-class classification case. So, we need a first a comprehensive dataset or text corpus to learn from, as well as a test dataset to measure the accuracy of our model. This will provide us better features that will deduce more accurate sentiment classification compared to the classical bag of words approach. Let's search for a corpus or label sentences or even better tweets. For example, we can find on the internet the following source. The sentiment analysis competition on Kegel, organized by the University of Michigan. We also have the Twitter sentiment corpus built by Nick Sanders. And the one we will use in this course, the Twitter sentiment analysis zip file downloaded from thinknook.com and based on the Sentiment 140 project. This last dataset contains roughly 1,5 million label tweets. 
Each tweet is labeled with one for positive tweet or zero for negative one. Let's first have a quick look at the file before loading it in Spark. We have here lines separated by commas and we are interested in the second as fourth token and must also skip the first line. We simply load the training dataset in the RDD5 variable, each string being a line. We filter to remove the first line and we split the dataset in two. Typically, the first split would contain 80% of the data for the training dataset and the second split 20% for the test dataset. However, we don't run this course on a real cluster but on a simple laptop. As many CPU and memory you could have on your laptop, we have to be cautious to avoid out of memory exceptions while training the model in the next videos. If you run memory issues, start with, for example, 10% of those values. In video 8.4, select your model, we will use a more powerful technique, the cross-validation, that will give a better estimate of model performance. We now create a sentiment text case class and a parse method to extract the tokens from the data lines. The creation of the training RDD from the first split is pretty straightforward. Just map on the first split and call parse that returns a sentiment text case class. The test RDD is created from the second split the same way. Really easy. We didn't create so far any validation dataset as we will first build a simple model in the next video and show you the performance. Remember, rather than dealing with validation dataset, we will show you how to use a brand new cross-validation of Spark in the model selection video. In this video, we have listed the Spark classification algorithms and created the training and test datasets.